Hey everyone, welcome to the Wayscript channel. My name is Derek and in this one I want to show you how easy it is to build a Python web app using the Wayscript platform. What we'll do is create a random password generator. Let's take a look at the finished example first. Here's the simple web page that we'll make in this video. What it does is create a random password for us. Right here's the password and every time that we reload the page we can get a new one. So we'll reload the page and now we're generated a new random password. Let's see how easy it is to build this on the Wayscript platform. If this is your first time hearing about Wayscript, what it allows us to do is integrate APIs from many different services. We can make small projects like this password generator, or we can automate entire large scale projects. If you want to try Wayscript, click the link in the description and sign up for your free account. We'll go over to their platform and we'll click on create a new script. We'll call it password generator, password generator, and click create. So what we need is to execute Python code every time that someone goes to a URL. We can do this using the HTTP trigger. So we'll click to add trigger and then we'll say HTTP trigger. This will create an endpoint for a user to go to to execute our code. We can put a path, so let's say password, and then we'll turn this trigger on. This will be the final URL that the user would need to go to. Now we'll click on add step and we need to execute some Python code. So we'll go down to Python and click on that. And now I'm not gonna type this Python code out. I'll just go over and copy it. But if you want to see a full tutorial on this code, I have a video on that and I'll post that link in the description. For now, we'll go over and copy this and paste it here. Now that we have this Python code, the last thing we need to do is to connect it to the next module. We can do that by typing in outputs, square brackets, we'll put a name, of that variable, so we'll say password, and we'll set this equal to the Python variable of password, which we create here. So we're just creating a variable that will pass to the HTML code. Let's run this, and once we execute it, we get a random password generated here. So now we'll click back over and drag in an HTML module. I have some HTML code for this example, and this will be linked below as well. So we'll go over and copy this, and then we'll paste it here. Now that we have our HTML code, let's go ahead and expand it. And we need to drag in this Python variable into our HTML code. So we'll go down to where we need to drag in this password and find it right here. And here's the super neat part about Wayscript. We can just take this and drag it into our HTML code. We'll post it right there and then we'll go back. And the last thing we need is to pass this to a response. So we'll go over to HTTP response and drag it in. From here, we just need to drag in this HTML code into the response content. So now we'll go back up to this trigger, click on it, we'll activate it, and we'll go to that URL. And just like that, we've connected Python code to our website using Wayscript. If you have any questions or comments about this code, please let us know. If you have any suggestions to help Wayscript improve, please let us know that too. We'll see you in the next video.